The American Civil War is the costliest war the United States has ever fought, both economically and in American lives lost. Americans fought against Americans, often families against families. Over 600,000 Americans would die, 2% of the population, in a war where some wounds have never quite healed. The Arsenal Building played an important role before, during, and after the Civil War. The museum's Civil War Gallery begins with the Capitol in Crisis, Little Rock and the Civil War exhibit, which chronicles the events that almost led to the first shots of the Civil War being fired over the possession of the Federal Arsenal at Little Rock before Arkansas seceded from the Union. The exhibit highlights the account of Captain James Totten and Governor Henry Rector as both men worked to avoid bloodshed in the state's capital as a large militia group descended on the federal arsenal with intentions of claiming it for the newly formed Confederate States of America. The gallery also features the Alger Cadet Gun. The Cyrus Alger and Company produced artillery pieces called Six Pounder Guns Light, which have since been known as Cadet Guns. Only 10 were ever made, with seven still known to exist. These guns were intended for drill and instruction by military cadets. However, a shortage of field pieces in the Confederacy at the beginning of the Civil War resulted in the Cadet Guns being commandeered for active duty. The two guns from the Arkansas Military Institute in Tulip were carried to Virginia in 1861 by the school's cadets as Company I Tulip's Rifles of the 3rd Arkansas Infantry. These Arkansas soldiers fought with the Army of Northern Virginia in all of the major battles in the East, including Sharpsburg, Gettysburg, and the Siege of Petersburg, finally surrendering at Appomattox Courthouse. The gun on display is on loan from Petersburg National Battlefield. The Camden Expedition is an important part of the Civil War Gallery. In the spring of 1864, while Ulysses S. Grant battled Robert E. Lee and Sherman was preparing to capture Atlanta, the United States Army and Navy west of the Mississippi River were put in motion to capture Shreveport, Louisiana. With the capture of Shreveport, the Union would have a staging area to invade Texas. On March 23, 1864, the Arkansas phase of this two-pronged military campaign began when General Steele and 8,500 troops from Little Rock Arsenal left with their objective being Shreveport. The Camden Expedition was perhaps the greatest federal military disaster of the Civil War in Arkansas. Union forces suffered over 2,500 casualties lost hundreds of wagons, and gained not one inch of new territory. Another part of the Civil War gallery is the David O. Dodd story. David Owen Dodd is perhaps one of the best-known Civil War figures in Arkansas history. The city of Little Rock remembered the boy hanged as a Confederate spy in January 1864 by naming a school and a road in his honor. While many see him as a martyr, other argue his execution was justified according to the military rules of war. Dodd's story has captivated audiences for years due to a combination of unanswered questions and unfortunate twists of fate. The David O. Dodd window commemorating the young Arkansan executed as a Confederate spy in 1864 was unveiled at the Confederate Museum in Richmond, Virginia on November 7, 1911. The idea for the window originated three years earlier when the Arkansas Division of the United Daughters of the Confederacy began raising funds for a memorial window for the Arkansas Room at the Richmond Museum, which was housed in the former White House of the Confederacy. In January 2004, the American Civil War Museum loaned the Dodd window to the museum in order to commemorate the 140th anniversary of Dodd's trial and execution. Also on display in the gallery are period weapons and uniforms 
as well as an exhibit on Civil War medicine. After the Civil War, the Federal Arsenal Building was renovated as an officer's quarters for married officers and would continue to be part of a larger army post known as Little Rock Barracks until its decommissioning in the early 1890s.